name's Chase Petitche. This is a Witchy Bitch Astrology update. For the new moon in Leo, we have here coming on January 28th. So um, January's been an intense month, in case you haven't noticed. Um, and um, we have a full moon coming up here uh, in Leo, the sign of Leo. Leo is, you know, um, the lion. It is the fixed fire sign of the zodiac. It, and it's at its heart, Leo rules the heart. It, it rules creativity, it rules expression, it rules fun, it rules play. But in its deepest, it really, really rules the need to express whatever we have latent within the self. It rules the creative flow. It rules us needing to be seen for the things that we create. Um, it rules theatrics. It's, you know, it's Leo is, is fun. So we have this full moon in Leo opposing the sun conjunct Jupiter. This is really exciting. We have it opposing the sun conjunct Jupiter um, at the same exact degrees um, in um, in Aquarius. And so, you know, whenever there's a full moon, it, that means that the sun and the moon are op opposing. But we, what we have here is Jupiter directly opposing the moon as well, mixing with the energies of the sun. Jupiter in Aquarius, remember how I talked about how the age of Aquarius has come upon us? Yes, we are in the age of Aquarius. We are starting to open to its energy, whatever that means specifically to you and your own soul. For me, it's really been this kind of heightened sense of individualism, this kind of new perception of consciousness. Um, and, you know, January, we've been met with like really intense transits. We've been met with uh, this um, Uranus. If you follow astrology, you probably are aware that we've been met with this really intense Uranus Mars transit that at, hit its peak on Inauguration Day. I mean, you couldn't make this stuff up. It's crazy. Um, you know, Mars, you know, is the ruler. It's the personal drive. It is, you know, what pushes us forward. It's like the gas pedal. It's the go. Uranus which rules Aquarius, is the awakener. It is the revolutionary. It is the rebellious one. It is the, um, it, it rules our intuition. So right now we have, um, we have the sun in Jupiter, Jupiter conjunct the sun in Aquarius, and that is opposing the moon. And what that means is that we are kind of getting imbued with this really new, beautiful energy of Aquarius that is expanding. Jupiter is the optimum, optimist. It is the, it is the constant expander. It rules the deepest levels of faith. And what we're kind of been given in this new chapter in January of, of kind of like, since we've had the inauguration, we have a new president, we have a whole new government. We have, we're, you know, things are starting to shift. The energies are starting to shift. And what that means is that we're kind of settling in. We're beginning to settle into this new era, whatever that means for the self. Um, you know, we have, like I said, we have had this Mars, um, Uranus, um, transit and that in this, on this full moon, it's squaring the moon and it's squaring the sun. So it's creating this T square, which is called a tension square, which really, you know, when I was looking at this, I was kind of like, okay, we have this kind of deep bubbling up of revolutionary change. And, you know, we're kind of starting to really sort of process what we went through in 2020. And we kind of have this rumblings of the new. The new world is starting to uh, collectivize. 2020 was just all about destruction, right? It was like, like just, we thought that we couldn't let go anymore. We thought that we couldn't be any more upset. We thought that we couldn't be any, you know, have any more loss or any more darkness. And it just kept getting deeper, deeper, wider, more, right? It's just emptying us out spiritually, financially, materially, everything. Now, the rumblings of the new, the rumblings of the new order, the void is going to start being filled. And so there is this, you know, there's this tension that is, that is arising. There is this tension that is exciting. It's, it's really this blending of this, you know, energy between our intuition, you know, a new kind of visionary attitude, innovative, 
individualistic beyond those old school hierarchical structures and really into this new kind of, um, you know, world order of consciousness. Um, and, you know, but we're, you know, we're still trying to really try to understand who we are. We don't fully know who we are, but yet we're getting glimpses of this kind of new insight, intuitive and, you know, deeper transformative change. So, you know, how does this relate to the self? You know, that's what the, you know, the, my astrology is really all about. It's a collective, but it's really about the self. So how is this relating to you? So this T-square is this tension square between this this moon and Leo, the expressor. The moon rules our undercurrent. It rules, you know, our subconscious. It rules how we instinctively react to things. So there needs to be, the, what I'm seeing in this T-square is that there really needs to be a release of this, of, of this tension that has been building and building and building and this kind of intensity that we kind of went through in January. What is your creative self, your creative mind, your creativity? How is that how does that show up for you in your life? Because really it's really, you know, Leo is part of this and that's that giant release, right? Because what's getting charged with the energy of this uh, Mars Uranus conjunction, which is really this like intense, you know, you could say shockingly insightful, um, you know, a personal a, a uniting a uniting uh, a uniting between our personal drive and our intuition, right? So it can be like you know, Mars is like the go, and then Uranus is can be like the the lightning bolt. And when those two things kind of merge, it can be this really intense energy, and that's kind of what we've been going through. So if you kind of been feeling this like just if you've been feeling like psychic insight in kind of unsettled. You don't know what to do with it. It feels intense and you don't know how to express it. Um, you feel excited, but you feel like you're unsure. You're still exhausted from 2020. That's all part of what's going on right now. And just know that, you know, the release point for this T-square. So, you know, there's a big tension. It's a big triangle tension square. And then the opposing sign across from it is the release. So the release point for all of this tension that's been building is in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, you know, is really the the deepest sign of, of, of deep personal and intense, you know, transpersonal um, transformation. And, you know, I've been talking about trans, that's all I talk about really is transformation because that's really what I'm all about is like, because I'm, you know, at my deepest, I'm constantly seeking to become more free, free from fear, free from doubt, free from worry, and more imbued with a sense of love with, with myself and for humanity. And so as we're all collect, this is all what we're collectively, you know, we've just been wrung out in 2020. We've been, our fear button has been pushed to our max, which activated also, you know, simultaneously on the other side of that, our faith. And that's what I find has been happening for me, you know, really in 20, the, and on, on the end, on the other side of this inauguration, as all of these energies kind of build is this really beautiful kind of new initiation of my faith in in something deeper, in a higher guiding divine force that is in, that is imbued within me. And it's really linked to our sense of self-worth and how we kind of show up in the world. And what's interesting is that the release point for all of this tension is in Scorpio. And also another aspect that's happening on this full moon is that the Pluto and Venus are at the exact same degrees in Capricorn which, you know, that's an intense aspect as well. And that to me is very, um, really indicative of, you know, for me, the deepest aspects of Venus, when you really get to the heart of every kind of sign and planet, the deepest aspects of it is really about our self-worth. You know, what, how we, how we genuinely kind of, um, are, how much we, you know, how, how we genuinely allow ourselves to show up in the world. Are we overtaken all the time by other people's energy? Are we, do we have doubt in our own creative capabilities? Do we, you know, are we afraid to kind of express our truth? Now is the time to truly begin to kind of transcend, transmute, release, surrender those things that have kind of been holding us back from like, 
you know, a new evolution of creative potential, a new evolution of, of self-worth, a new evolution of all of the self and all the self-worth. It's all directly connected to our sense of faith. It's all directly connected to um, our sense of, of, you know, of security, of, of our own uh, cr uh, creativity. All of these things are directly linked to the other. They're, you know, how much we allow ourselves to show up as a creative being in the world and to uh, offer our unique ind individualized gifts to the world and believing in that we are secure in that, believing and feeling connected to a higher source than ourselves is actively what builds self-worth. And that you know, is what's being um, transmuted, transcended, worked through in the sign of Capricorn right now, the Venus-Pluto um, um, conjunction, you know, Capricorn rules that old school, you know, um, authority, you know, and now it's kind of, on, it's that last push, because what, as we go into February, you guys, we are really, the only thing that's left in um, um, is Capricorn, like I said, we've been in Capricorn all of 2020. The only thing left in there is Pluto. Pluto's still scrubbing out those old patriarchal, higher heteronormative BS, you know, old school ideas. While now all the signs, all the planets are all starting to move through Aquarius, the visionary, the eccentric, the, you know, ruled by Uranus. So it makes a lot of sense that we have this Uranus-Mars conjunction right now that's highlighting really and powerfully these Aquarian energies, you know, and then it's mixed with this beautiful energy of um, Jupiter, you know, opposing the moon, blending with the sun. And this gives us that, that new kind of renewed sense of optimism and faith and kind of new ideas about the world. But it's like, it's built with, there's, there's some tension mixed in. And so the release point is really, really starting to go deeper within the self, you know, taking quiet time. Like I know we, you know, everybody, you know, this is what, you know, the spiritual journey really is, it's really the only, it's an individual journey with the self and only, you know, how far you want to go or how deep you're ready to transcend. But it's not simply meditation, you know? It's not simply quieting the mind. It's beginning to actively shift the way, it's like beginning to pay attention to our subconscious loops, the things that we, you know, actively kind of, the resentments we hold on to, the anger that we, that drives us, the hatred for ourselves and for humanity that we kind of can't let go of, the deeper subconscious internal loops starting to bring light to those and be actively beginning to choose love actively beginning to choose a different way of being because it's not for anyone else but other than ourselves because ultimately when we're in those loops we're just we're just we're, we're, we keep on creating the same karma over and over those resentments those angers those 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 you know um victim mentalities all of that it's keeping us in the same loop and we are in this transcendent powerful emergent revolutionary con uh shift in consciousness right now you guys it's real i know you guys are all feeling it because i'm feeling it it's so massive and i'm finally just deeply allowing myself to fully surrender to it and that means i'm really going deep into my old my subconscious patterning around the deepest wounds, around the deepest sense, around my identity. And I'm starting to really pay attention. I'm bringing light to my subconscious, to the things that I think on the daily. And I'm choosing to think, to activate, to transcend, to alter my thoughts. I'm choosing to change my loop. And that's what you all have the chance to do now to use all of this potential and all this revolutionary, powerful Aquarian, Uranian energy. We're moving out of this Capricorn, we're moving into the age of Aquarius, we're moving into this era of fierce individualism, power for the individual, authentic truth, authentic power that is based in us beginning to express and resonate and allow our creative uh, channel, our creative potential forward and forth out into the world. And that's really what it's all, all, all about. And that's what will ultimately bring the highest levels of self-worth and will contribute to the har harmony and the harmonious energy of the whole. And that will bring less anger, less strife and all of the finger pointing when we start to do deeper inner work and we start to allow that to come out 
as our true expressive creative selves that we are. So, um, yeah, I hope that this, uh, helped you guys. Um, you know, this is a wolf moon, this moon. And I thought that was really cool because, um, you know, I had a dream about a wolf the other night and, um, wolves show up in my dreams quite a bit. And, uh, I thought it was really cool that, you know, this is a, the reason why it's called the wolf moon is because, uh, it was from the native tribes, um, calling it that because the wolves would howl at the moon in January at the full moon because they were hungry and it was cold. And, uh, you know, the light of the moon was so bright because the air was so thin and crisp. And, you know, we're kind of at that point, you know, like of this howling at the moon of this kind of intensity of this darkness that we're kind of at the, you know, the shifting point kind of hitting this peak of this darkness and starting to come out of it. So really, it's really, really a beautiful time to go inward and begin to howl at the moon, allow yourself to kind of move towards that higher inner light, towards the light within the sky, the light in the darkness, and begin to open up to whatever becomes illuminated. Open up to your own inner creativity, inner power. Allow that out. Allow yourself to howl. So I hope this helps. Um, I love you all. I'm on this journey with you. And um, take it easy in the next couple of weeks. All right, see you soon.